What's crackling, everybody? Welcome back once again to the Definitive Serial Tier List. Where each episode, we take a serial, put it on the tier list, so you know how good it is. I'm your host, Tucker. In this episode, we're doing Elf. Sweet and Corn Pops with Buddy the Elf's favorite marshmallows. Now, to make sure this fits into the Elf food pyramid, this is, of course, maple syrup flavored, which we've had a few times. Most recently with the B-ranked Waffle Crisp, which was very good maple flavor, kind of a buttery maple, and also had a good just piece that was, in a way, somewhat waffle-like. So, real good job there. If you drop down to a C, though, we had the French Toast Crunch, which was also maple flavored. Not bad, one of the better French toasts, for sure. But we've also had D-ranked, and this is probably very unlike this cereal, and a bunch of oats, pecan, maple brown sugar. So, obviously a lot more going on there. But this hopefully can get at least the French Toast Crunch levels of good maple going on. But then they're also throwing in some marshmallows. So it'll at least be different from French Toast and Waffle Crisp. Uh, I guess those both had pretty unique pieces as well. And this is just little puffs. So in a lot of ways, despite being maple flavored, it's kind of different. Sort of like Buddy. But let's just open it up. See what he's got for us. Oh no! That was a bummer. Bad box open. I think by now I could just like perfect it. Smells pretty maple Yeah, it's. I think you can tell this is just kind of like a basic puff piece from the maple scent. Like, I don't know exactly how to explain that, but the like waffle crisp had a very clear maple scent that sometimes like even came out of the unopened bag. This one it's there, but it, it feels more mixed in with the piece. I just realized the shapes for these. Wow. That's rough. But okay, so like I said, maple flavored piece. And then we've got, come on, candy. Candy cane. Candy corn. Syrup. Oh, that's actually kind of fun. I like that. It's a good. Good design. All right, I'm gonna be very thrown off if the candy cane actually has peppermint. I don't think it does, but just putting that out there. Okay. I don't think the maple flavor is quite as good as waffle crisp. But it's not bad. It it like the like the scent, it does feel a little off. And I think it does the thing that I've like mentioned before where it feels a bit like it's like just generic. But not too terrible. Not noticing anything unique about the marshmallows either at this point. I'm further into this now, and the maple flavor, I think, is lessening a bit, where I'm kind of just getting a general sort of sweetness, more than like a super distinct maple. Like, this is the spectrum of just regular sweet maple flavor. It started like maybe here, now we're closer to like here, so still kind of in that mid-range, but again, not as stand out and clear as like waffle crisp which i'm just going to keep mentioning because that is the best maple cereal we've done so far we're nearing the end so time to try the milk okay kind of like i was saying it leans more towards just sweet than distinct maple again kind of on that spectrum where it's still there just not super clear 
I mean, it's good though. Like, I'm still, still enjoying it. It's just, again, no waffle crisp. This may have Buddy the Elf's favorite marshmallows, but it's not my favorite maple cereal. So as I've been saying, I don't think this is the best maple cereal we've done. I think it is pretty solid though, overall. Like, I, I mentioned a couple times where that sweetness is kind of a bit more just general sweet than true maple. And you're still kind of getting it. And it might just be as you're going in, you kind of adjust to the maple flavor. So you don't notice it as much. So that could just be, you know, my brain adapting or something. But I think it, it still tastes pretty all right. You got marshmallows in there. Totally fine, nothing too stand out or unique about those. And the piece is, is okay. It, it, it's kind of what you'd expect for like a, a seasonal, just sort of IP tie-in cereal. So not, not too disappointed in this, but also not too excited by it either. So what I'm gonna do is give Elf a C. That's the same rank as French Toast Crunch, but I think I would definitely put French Toast Crunch above this in terms of maple cereals, if you could only, you know, have one or the other. But I think, again, this is still kind of fun. And just the concept, I think they really nailed of having candy, candy cane, candy corn, and then syrup flavored pieces. Like that's kind of a clever, like fun idea. Maybe I'm biased because this is probably the Christmas movie I watch the most. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt, I guess. But I, I think it's, it's a decent enough tie-in and it's you know, got a bit of that maple flavor and it's just kind of fun. So it gets a C. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and in the comments below, post your general thoughts. Let me know if you've had Elf and what you thought about it. If, like Buddy, these were your favorite marshmallows, you can let me know about that. Or maybe you're a little disappointed that they didn't really go all in on the Buddy the Elf energy and just have it be overflowing with sugar. If you wanted that, you can let me know too. Or if like me, this is like your most watched Christmas movie, you can say, yay, that's fun. And we can enjoy that together. Or if you really want, you can tell me your favorite color. But until next time, stay cheerful.